on this machine, the maximum length of uh, component that you can unload through the parts catcher, if you like to call it that, it's actually a gantry robot unloader, is 790 mil long. There aren't many lathes out there that can unload a shaft at 790 mil long in under five seconds. So we're here in Colville at Matsura's headquarters. I'm with Mark Cumberland Hello, Paul. again. Uh, yeah. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Very good, thank you. Mark, You're Murata, good. these yes. machines, this is what we're going to talk about today because these machines are here available for immediate delivery. They are, yes. That's important, but the more important thing I want our audience to hear is how good they are and why people would consider them because there's a lot going on in these machines. There is. I mean, they're a fantastic machine. I mean, uh, recently we've been holding around 10 machines in stock, ever since the beginning of the year really, and it's a rolling stock, a, a continuous uh, restocking policy that we have with Murata now. Um, and we've seen not just the inline twin spindle machine that we see here, but also the gantry fed machines as well, whether it's an inline twin spindle machine, or whether it's the parallel spindle machines, or even the single spindle machines. Um, we're finding more and more that customers are coming to us as an alternative uh, lathe supplier to give them that um, unmanned automated running. Would you get somebody that's got, and you could be, this could be you watching this, that's got maybe a more um, traditional two, three axis turn in centre, or maybe three or four of them, and they're you know, looking at it going, actually, this machine might replace a lot of that in a much smaller footprint, less yes. men, all of those things, because you've, so, you've got the two turrets, the two spindles, the gantry. Yes. Is that, is that oh, what definitely. this is about? Definitely. The MT series has the benefit of coming with Y-axis on both turrets. If you have three turrets, you get Y-axis on three turrets. Obviously, a twin turret, twin spindle machine, we can share both turrets on both spindles. So we are looking at considerably reducing cycle time compared to you know, maybe a customer that has an OP10 and an OP20 on separate uh, spindle machines it's, it's a new way it's a new way of thinking and i think that's the important thing how quick are these as well i mean we're going to see another one in a minute but how fast are that gantry it flies it? it will yes i mean our unload load time um we can get down as far as four seconds on some of the mw machines uh, on for, for billet loading that is but on this type of machine if we're looking to unload um a component we can unload shafts on this machine the maximum length of uh, component that you can unload through the parts catcher, if you like to call it that, it's actually a gantry robot unloader, is 790 mil long. There aren't many lathes out there that can unload a shaft at 790 mil long in under five seconds. Okay, well, so it's small parts and long parts and too. And long parts. Let's go down to this next machine, Mark, the MD60. <coughs> um, this, if I look at this, so this is a different sort of configuration. I'm not sure if we can get the door open there, whether there's a button you can press or not, but I'm sure we can get a cutaway if you can't. But the, the configuration is different. The spindles are facing this way. They are, mean? yes. Yeah, this is the, the single spindle version, the, the, uh, the MD60. We also have an MS60. Uh, the MS is a non-driven tool machine. The MD comes with driven tools. This is basically half of a twin parallel spindle machine. So this is where we start looking at billet loading. And this is where we get the load unload cycle times down into a few seconds. Okay, because either side, well, here we've got one here. This is where your, your stacking system is, but you could have a stacker over there too. You could or an do. unloader, a loader, and that's, that's how it works. It is, it? yeah. I mean, the, the, the stocker that we have on the side of here, we can load and load back into the same side. Or if you want to put something else under the, the opposite side of the machine, maybe a rotor rack, you can then put components straight into that or maybe straight into a rumbler because there's space under the right-hand side of the machine for you to be able to deposit components straight into maybe a cleaning system. Okay, now your customers that have bought these, I've been down south, the territory that you come, yep. I've seen two or three of them. I know you've got more than that, but what's their, what would you say is their view of this technology? Because that's really important for our audience to hear as well. What's it done for them? Well, it's, I mean, you've got to remember that Murata is a relatively newish uh, machine tool to the marketplace. Okay, we've been uh, selling these for about sort of 10, 15 years but it's really in the last five, seven years that the inline twin spindle machine, the MT series from Murata has really started to take off. And the benefit that we see from it is more in terms of its machine ability. When we're looking at driven tool power on the MT200, we're up to 14 kilowatts of driven tool power, which you know, is comparable to some machining centers. So we have a, a big advantage over some of our competitors in the fact that we have a, a true box guideway for our y-axis so we've got a very very straight linear axis um, and just the whole construction of the machine is a very very rigid 
design, which gives us very, very good surface finish and high accuracy so qu components. Quality of power, accuracy. But yes. I think one of the big things has to be the speed and the way that you can, you, you can not orientate, that's the wrong word, the way you can make your components in one operation, yes. basically. You can reduce yes. any of that handling of parts. That's right. I mean, we have 15 stations on both turrets on the MT100. On the MT200, we have 15 on the top, 12 on the bottom, plus half index. So if we start looking at double loading tools or maybe triple loading tools, you know, suddenly we've got you know, 40, 50, maybe 60 tools sitting on the turrets in the machine. So we have the ability to not just run one or two different parts, we can have a whole family of components which are set within the machine tool at any one time. And bear in mind, obviously, you, know, you can start to maybe machine parts the opposite way around if the tools are facing the opposite way. So we can utilize as many of those turret stations as we can. Got it. Uh, absolutely uh, fantastic machines. As I've spoken to your customers, biggest thing as well for me, compact, small area, economical, yes. bit like me and you. Yes, perfect. Thank you very much, Mark. <laughs>